Wise, Terrence Gangster William, a.k.a. OG Giggity. First, I want to send my condolences out to Takeoff's family. Um, on behalf of Captain Cap Podcast, on behalf of the Gangster, the original Hot Boy Podcast, I want to address three different celebrities that spoke out. The first one is uh, Gilly, Gilly the King, or uh, Made Not Worth the Game. Is he said something that grabbed my attention today, and I was like, I looked at it on both sides. That me being a guy that used to be in the streets, whenever something happened, we wanted to show this is my work, this is what happened. And now me, a guy that has denounced the streets and that is uh, trying to help the at-risk youth, I agree with him wholeheartedly by him uh, addressing the situation that whoever filming these people when they're killed and putting it on the channel to show, you know, now their family had to see their loved ones stressed out. Uh, now that I'm older and I think back on it and look at that stuff, I'm like, I was once part of this stuff, you know. And um, it's sickening now to see these people uh, filming this stuff and these people just laid out like that and their families got to see they got children. So the, the, the children going to be traumatized looking at that kind of stuff. And this is coming from somebody that was once in the streets. But we didn't have social media back then. So uh, we need to be mindful of um, the family members. Now, on the other side of the coin, the people that are filming it, these uh, celebrities, they have fans. And fans be wanting to know for sure, is is it true that this person was killed? Or is it true that this person was you know, shot, what have you? So... People we want to see and and see for themselves, like okay, yeah, this video I seen it my, with my own eyes. So you got, you know, is this a that's a hard one? I mean, like I said, I I I'm on the side with Gilly with that now um, that you know when you film this stuff and uh, the family got to see that, so it's like you know we got to take consideration of that. Um, Whack One Hundred says something that. Uh, my Muslim brother Jihad brought to my attention uh, two days ago, and then I heard Wack 100 say it. Uh, I heard it today. Well, he spoke, well, he was like, the bigger you get, the more you become a target. You know, and um, like he said, he, he used example like how the president, when he come through, how you got to clear the way, and then he come through. And, um, you know, a lot of rappers, entertainers, some of us come from the hood, and now you just have that platform. And I be trying to explain to people that, you know, yeah, uh, this person a rapper, yeah, this person is, but this person still human. This person still live next door to you. You know, he just was blessed to get this money or she was just blessed to get this money. And now they're on TV more, you seeing them more. So we put them on a pedestal, we put them on a, on, on a different stage and we look at them like, man, yeah. But they still do the same thing we do. They, they eat at the fast food restaurant we eat at. You know, they go to the uh, shoe stores like we go, to the clothing store like we go, you know. But um, he have a good point, whereas a lot of these celebrities need to start uh, getting their security and um, paying paying more attention to what's going on and where they are. But um, I also heard him say, too, how a lot of people get security just because they're big and bulky, and, you know, that's just for show, you know what I'm saying? So... No, um, you gotta be careful with you who you pick and what you do. And lastly, I want to address um, Boosie. Boosie stated, "This rap stuff is whack. We grew up on rap." He said, "They used to be the rappers used to be heroes." He said that now rappers are targets. He said they're in danger. This is coming from Terrence Emmanuel Williams, AKOG Giggity. For number one, 
rappers, singers are still our heroes because rappers, singers still have powerful messages that they give us. Yes, yeah, some of them talk about the hood, the street stuff, uh, the, what they call now drill music. Um, some of them, you know, get wild with it, but you still um, get a lot of people through their hard times, whether it's the rap music, uh, the singing, um, you know, you got different genres of music. So I disagree when you say that y'all used to be heroes. You all still heroes. And I want to touch on the problem with the rappers. Um, he said that the rappers are being targeted. Hmm. Uh, he said they're in danger. Let's go back. Back in the day when rappers came out, they had a bunch of security. You couldn't get to them. Only time you've seen a rapper is at a concert or some kind of function or an event. Rapper wasn't putting themselves in situations where they can be touched. These days, things have changed. Now what rappers are doing, oh, I'm from the hood. Y'all come from there. Y'all can pull up. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, I, you know, I can relate to where y'all come from. Y'all got money, but this is where I come from too. I'm, I'm here. And at some point, you got to realize certain things you can't do no more. Certain things, certain places you can't go. You shouldn't go. Let me say that. I didn't say you can't go. You shouldn't go. Because as Wag 100 stated, the bigger you become, the more of a talker you become, the more enemies you get, you know? So people go to hate knowing just because. So for the rappers, for the entertainers, I've seen this plenty of times where rappers will make it out the ghetto, but because they're from certain hoods, certain wars, they want to go back and live that gangster life. And some of them never lived that gangster life, but they want to go back to that gangster life. And that's where they get caught up at. Once you make it out, man, keep it pushing. Send the money back. Uh, get your non-profit. There's always ways you can show love to the hood without having to go right back on that corner where you grew up at. I used to say for a long time when I was in prison, on Katrina hit, I used to be like, all the people move from New Orleans. I hear people, I ain't going back. I'm like, oh, they turning back on the city. They ain't going back to our city. And then I would hear people say, man, in order for you to grow, you got to get away from certain places. And it wasn't until I moved to, I realized that, Yo, now I can elevate. Now I can get somewhere because if not, I'd have been stagnated, still stuck in the same spot. Want to go in the know you? Want to go hang in the corner? Or the know you tore down, but I'm going to hang in Shakespeare Park, cross the street from the know you. You know, that's just the ignorant mindset we have as older people. I'm not even talking about the young, I'm talking about the older people. But um, rappers are not a target. Rappers make themselves a target when they put themselves in that certain environment. That's what you all have to uh, pay attention to and um, to boost it. I've always been a fan of your music. I still like your music, but you can't just, well, you can, you said it, but all rappers are, 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 are not a target. You got rappers that's doing their music and then well, guess what they're doing? Going back with their family or staying out the way. You have a lot of them that, that know Okay, I know I can't go here. And you got a lot of them that know I'm not a hood dude. I just put this stuff on wax. You know, so um, you know, that's, something, that's something that the rappers need to have y'all a meeting or, or get the rap coalition together and start letting it be known, hey, we can't do this, we can't do that. And then we got the sick mindset where guys will say, when you come to my city, check in. You're going to be okay. And everybody that has made that statement, check in, you're going to be okay, someone was killed. Man, listen, I wonder who started that goofy stuff. Check in with me. You're going to be all right. Man, this is the time of the days that things are coming to an end, y'all. This world coming to an end. It's getting close, man. We we just destroying ourselves. you know. And like I say, um, when I speak, when I talk, I talk. Not only to the people, but to myself too, because my ears are the closest. 
that I was once part of that same madness out there in them streets. God blessed me to be out here. He blessed me to have this platform. And like I always say, I'm going to always stay high. I've come out from day one. Respectful, humble. And I'm going to give it to y'all the way I feel, the way I see it. And that's just what it is. I'm out. Much love. Wow.